back. The biggest event of the year for stargazers is now just two weeks away. The total eclipse is expected to bring a flood of visitors to Texas cities. You know, that kind of surge in people has also even led to some Texas counties issuing disaster declarations. Yeah, pretty big deal here. And while we are not in the direct path of totality, it will still be something to see here in Corpus Christi. But as Faith Colbert shows us tonight, there are dangers that may come with not being properly prepared. Faith? Good evening, Leslie and Mike. As many are thrilled to see this once every two decade event, safety is a major priority in events like these. I met with two influential members of our community to stress the importance of eye safety. It seems innocent enough just to take a glimpse of the eclipse, but I would caution you not to do that. Recognizing the consequences from viewing any eclipse does not happen immediately. But when those effects do start to kick in, Dr. Ramos says you will surely know. And it actually can burn the back of the eye, the macula, which is responsible for your straight ahead vision. Throughout Dr. Ramos' years of practice, a majority of patients that come in with injury to the eye after eclipses are under 30 years old. I have probably like a dozen patients come in last year and tell me that they accidentally looked at it, their eyes kind of felt like maybe they got damaged. And the brief damages that occur will linger around for a lifetime. Unfortunately, when the eyes get damaged from the solar eclipse, it's permanent damage and it's not reversible. The annular solar eclipse from last year and the total eclipse in April will be quite similar as far as location is concerned. April 8th, we will have total. The funny thing is that both happens to the Northern Hemisphere. The last time Texas was even included in a total solar eclipse was back on July 29, 1878. So as you can expect, many eyes are anticipating this site. You will see completely blockage of the solar disk by the lunar disk. While this is literally a chance of a lifetime, don't risk your eyesight in this scientific event. I wouldn't recommend looking at it unless you have the protective glasses that kind of filter out those, those rays. Now, the clock is ticking, and if you don't already have a pair of solar eclipse glasses, we have you covered, and we'll have the link attached to this story at kitv.com for a list of American Astronomical Society approved glasses.